Alright guys, we're back, and this time, I finally got my man Patrick Williams with me. I, I promised y'all I was going to get him on, on the show with us. Patrick, you're going to the state championship. Yes, sir. And you told me in advance that you're going to get it done. You still feel like that's going to happen? I know I know it's going to happen now. I can smell it. I yeah. can smell the ring, so uh, it makes me just want it even more. This game reminds me of West Charlotte played, I think it was the 91 state championship, and they were a real hot team like you guys are, and they were going to play Kinston. Kinston was a nationally ranked team, had a kid that ultimately went to Carolina, Jerry Stackhouse, heavy favorite. Nobody thought, you know, West Charlotte was going to win, and they go up there and do it. This kind of this game kind of reminds me of that. It's like they got the Dayron Sharp kid, 6'10", that's going to Carolina, and, and they're number six in the country. And You know, how do you guys overcome that and make this like 91 and do what that 91 team did? Um, you, just, you just don't worry about who they have or who they, what their rank is. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's everybody's even. Uh, everybody can lose, anybody can win. So we just gotta go out there and just play like like we know we can play. What got into you guys on Saturday? When you you know your regional championship game is eighteen fourteen, I get one score, and then the next time you guys are up thirty. <laughs> right. So what happened? How did you guys explode? And went 85-51 over a really good Winston-Salem Reynolds team. Did he come back from 16 down to beat Myers Park in the fourth quarter? Uh, Coach Kobe called a timeout. We knew that we had to play better defense, limit them to one shot, mm -hmm. um, and just get rebounds and, and then wait on the offensive end. Not take bad shots, not take, not take four shots, but uh, shots out of the offense, layups, get in the paint. So we did that. Uh, we knew that we had to win that game to get – so we want to get to so mm -hmm. that uh, when when coach told us what what we need to do we just trusted him and we just did it. But you never thought it was gonna be like that, did you? Oh no! <laughs> to win by thirty something and uh, to put for the regionals. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't think it was like that. But tell me what it's what's it been like this year because it almost seems like this is kind of a West Charlotte Renaissance. You know, you get the new locker room, the NBA comes, that's a big big deal for you guys. Then you you win the conference tournament. And now you have this playoff run and all the controversy, but you had this playoff run, and it just seems like you know your athletic director was telling me he's never felt that support, that lion pride until now. What's right. that been like to kind of be a part of of, of a renaissance of West Charlotte pride and, and, and winning like they like they used to? It's been crazy. Um, everybody from from alumni to to, to, to teachers and supporters, mm -hmm. has been telling us that West Charlotte basketball is getting back to where to, to where it used to be. Yeah. Um, so. That was a goal of mine when, when I first came here as a ninth grader. Uh, I just knew that I knew where where West Charlotte basketball had come from. Mm -hmm. We had a couple years off before I, before I came in, so uh, I just knew that I want to get I, I want to get back to where West Charlotte basketball was. At. Did you ever feel like I, we're never gonna make it? Did you ever feel get a little discouraged? And yeah, I mean it, it was some tough times, some tough years where, where we might have lost uh, early second round, or third round to a team that we shouldn't have lost to, like. Yeah. Uh, we lost to BJ. I think that was my sophomore junior year. Yep. Um, so I mean, like losing is always is always gonna be tough. But I know that next year, I I, I could always come back and do better. But that is some of better. the best food in the world. Oh, in that place, man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the cafeteria in there, house of prayer. Oh my god, different. But um, the knock on you has been doesn't play hard, not living up to his potential. You heard that, right? How did you change that? Because this year, I mean, you played as well as any kid I can remember ever at this school. And that says a lot. But, I mean, I really believe that. Um, I, I, I felt like it was just a, a switch that had to be turned on. Uh, everybody was saying I had to be more aggressive, had to be mm -hmm. more assertive. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure where it came from, but I just I, I just feel like I'm, I'm aggressive now. Uh, mm -hmm. I still can do better. I still take some plays off. I, I, I see, like... I'll, uh, I'll I'll not go for a rebound. That that look at coach and I say, that's my fault. Like, mm -hmm. I should have got that rebound. Got but, it, yeah. uh, I've been making strides. I, I think um, you change when you have to. I had to change this year in order for us to get to a state championship. So, you knew that. Yeah, I knew I had to change because the the team goes as the as the leader goes. So mm -hmm. the leader playing hard, leader 
uh, getting rebounds, talking on defense, talking on offense, encouraging teammates, and the rest of the team going they going they going to play better. You're going to Florida State. Most kids is a top 40 recruit, six eight can do all the things you can do. I mean, you're like the you know I call you a unicorn. I mean, you just I mean you, you you know you got that new age game. I mean, you're a guard, you're a center, you're a forward. I mean, you're whatever you need to be. And oh man, the West Charleston Center. I used to play ball there growing up. Oh yeah, yeah. Make it, take it. Y'all see kids? Y'all don't play? Y'all don't play? Y'all don't play? Pick up no more, man. That's what I think is lost in basketball. We come in and play pick up. You know, the only way you could stay on the court was to win. You know, if you lost, you had to sit. So you didn't want to lose. It was just taught us, you know, you just never, ever, ever wanted to lose. West Charlotte, man, that's where they, Steph Curry's come over. His dad would drop him off at the West Charlotte Center. I don't know that's what the best ball was back then. But I'm, I'm off topic. <laughs> um, you, you know, you do so many different types of things in your top 40 recruit. And I guess a lot of people will say, well, how in the world is he not going to Carolina or Duke or even Wake or State? Right. Why, why not those and why, why Florida State? Uh, Florida, well, first of all, Coach Ham gives you the, the freedom to do whatever you whatever you can do. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you go there and show him you can dribble, he's going to let you dribble, mm -hmm. shoot, he's going to let you shoot. Mm -hmm. So um, I chose Florida State because I knew that ultimately I, I want to get to NBA. And mm -hmm. to get to NBA, you got to show each and every, well, you got to show that you got to show everything you can do. Right. Um, and I I want to show everything that I could do, and I knew that Coach Ham was going to let me do that. Right. Uh, plus, I mean, Florida State just seemed like a – just like a felt like when I stepped on the, on the on the campus for, for my official visit, it was like, yeah, I want to be here. It wasn't the girls, though, right? No, nah, it wasn't. Yeah, you lying. <laughs> it wasn't the girls. It wasn't the girls. <laughs> but I just knew I wanted to be there. It was like – it was like a feeling that I, I never had before. So there's no chip on your shoulder about not, you know, being heavily recruited by Duke and Carolina. It's none of that. It's just I love Florida State. Yeah, I, just, I love Florida State. Um, you going to play in the Jordan game? I, I know you weren't really want to go to McDonald's game. And I thought, you know, you're definitely good enough to go. But how how big of an honor is it to play in, you know, one of those big time, you know, major high school showcase games? Uh, it's definitely an honor. Um, I'm just ready to go, show what I can do. Um, most of the guys I, I I played with or against either mm -hmm. in the summer or other camp stuff like that. So uh, when we get there, it's, it's pretty much I know the guys on my team. I know the guys on the other team. Mm -hmm. So it's just we got to get to. Do you do you feel like that people don't know your name nationally as well as some of the other names? We even say say like a Wendell. Uh, I really don't even pay attention to that. Yeah, I mean, that matter? Yeah, it really don't matter to me. They gonna find out soon enough? Yeah. I don't really <laughs> care how many people know my name, it's just that the right people know my name. How big is how big a game is this for you guys coming up on Saturday? And what are the the kids saying, you know, to you guys uh, as you get ready for it? Uh it's, it's it's real big. I mean, state championship is everything that everybody's wanted on the team. Mm -hmm. Um they they've been saying that we know we gotta play like we can play. We know we gotta play defense. We know we gotta rebound. Those are those are the two main things mm -hmm. uh, that we gotta do in order to win. I mean, offensively, we're gonna we're gonna score. That's not a problem. But we gotta we gotta we gotta play defense and rebound. Is this the game of your life? The game of my life, I would say, yeah. Cause I I've always dreamed of a state championship, even since I was a little kid. It's, it's close, man. Yes. It's close. Yeah. All right, Patrick Williams, appreciate you, man. Thank you.